Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club Flower Child and BM307. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Color Club Flower Child. This is supposed to be a thermal polish, but um, it I couldn't get it to change color, so um, maybe it's had its shelf life. And since we're on this subject, I just want to throw this out there. When you buy thermal polishes or mood polishes, just be sure you like the base color of it, the way it looks in its natural state. Because in that way, when it quits working, you've still got a polish that you really like. And that's how I always view it um, when I buy these thermals. Um, they don't last forever. And as you can tell with this one, I am just smitten with this base color, this hot pink. It's just gorgeous. I'm going to top this with Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat and get it to dry down. Now it does change color a little bit, but not like it should or maybe did at one time. Um, I did run it through my shaker a couple of times to hopefully, you know, m make it a little more fresh and mix up all the components to, you know, see if that would help it, but it's, this one's done. So thankfully I do love the base color. There we go, capping that free edge there. So that's two coats of Flower Child and one coat of Top Coat. Now on to some stamping. I'm going to be using BM307 Brave Steva on the black stamping polish, my Beauty Scraper, and my AliExpress Stamper. And I've got my Burt's Bees all around my fingers so that I hopefully have easy cleanup. Today I am doing my butterflies. Um, this time of year I really do love butterflies and I think black and hot pink look amazing together. I am cleaning that stamper off on a lint roller and cleaning that plate with pure acetone. I have decided to add the Pro FX Sticky Base uh, to my nails because uh, I did wear this manicure and I was having trouble with this metal nail. I'm doing a little patchwork here. I pulled up the image again and I'm removing some pieces that I don't want to double stamp. But I'm just trying to fix that up in the top there. There we go. Now that butterfly in the middle is pretty much missing a wing, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to keep plopping along here. So, you know, when you run into problems like this, it is nice to know you can still salvage the manicure. You just got to, you know, go in and pick up some more image and reapply it. And if I'd have remembered the sticky base to begin with, we'd have been okay. <laughs> I really do like this butterfly image though. It just looks like you got a, a whole bouquet of butterflies fluttering off your nails. And with it being done in that hot pink and black, they're very noticeable. So there we go. I'm going to go back to this pointer nail and do it. I was telling my husband how a lot of ladies call them index fingers, and I always call it the pointer finger. <laughs> it's because that's what I do with mine, I point. So there we go. Awesome sauce. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape, and since I use my Burt's Bees, it is coming up perfectly. No need for a cleanup brush. And now I'm going to top it with Peel Ease, which is a peel-off base coat, but it works great for the smudge-free. Now, it doesn't last forever, so, you know, um, I am putting on this uh, Fast and Hard for Vibrant Vinyls. Um, normally, when I use that peel-off as a smudge-free, my manicure will last about two or three days before enough hand washing starts making just the stamping and the top coat peel off. <laughs> so, there you have that. So, here is my manicure in motion. Woo-wee, look at that. And here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one down below. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.